I've been to them kite festivals. Hang on, hang on. What if no, 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 this ain't happening, is it? Is it, is it not working? <laughs> it's not a very good idea, this, this viewers. It's a terrible idea. Really bad idea. Do you know what? We can't move the table either. Someone screwed it down to the floor. Well, we're going to have to get rid of the tablecloth. Right, tablecloth's gone. We're out of it. Wow, what a performance. I think it's a bit nippy out here, so I think I'm going to wear the tablecloth. He's not right, is he, viewers? He's not right. Nice and warm now. Oh, yeah. right. By the time you finish faffing about, the Chinese will be cold. So, Chris has got salt and pepper chips and beef curry. He's got dry, dry spare ribs. I actually like mine not dry, but he doesn't give a shit about me. Well, you know. Then I've got, we've got, <laughs> got salt and pepper chicken bites and spring rolls. We've got salt and pepper chips and spring rolls and we've got beef curry fried rice and we've got two bags of prawn crackers all for 30 quid all for 30 quid and chris has got his swaps lemonade Psst. is that product placement are they paying you for yeah, that yeah 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 but so Shrep, if you're watching this yeah i want a bit of a backhander for this a bit and, of a drink. and and if you're not chris he always uh, he always advertises his channel on his t-shirt so there he is bet fred world <laughs> <laughs> Too bloody windy at the minute. Mm. That's nice. Curry's bang up. As far as Chinese goes, that curry's okay. Somebody's just beeped us. I think they started to recognise the crap table. <laughs> Well, I've not left a lot of there, have I? The pig's absolutely right. This curry is absolutely bang on. I've always liked the curries uh, from there. I've been going there for nearly 20 years. Right. Houston, we have a problem. What's up? It's all right, I can edit. I don't have to mess about. Uh, right. I'm going to go through it again. Okay. Because that wasn't recording. No, we're not We're not going to edit this here. We're going to show you how we actually do this raw. He's going to have to show it all again. So, Chris has got salt and pepper chips and beef curry. He's got dry, dry spare ribs. I actually like mine not dry, but he doesn't give a shit about me. Well, you know, then I've got, chicken in the we've got, we've got, <laughs> got salt and pepper chicken bites and spring rolls. We've got salt and pepper chips and spring rolls. And we've got beef curry fried rice. And we've got two bags of prawn crackers. All for 30 quid. All for 30 quid. And Chris has got his swaps lemonade. Psst. Is that product placement? Are they paying you for yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Shrep, if you're watching this, yeah, I want a bit of a backhander for this. A bit and, of a drink. And, and if you know Chris, he always uh, he always advertises his channel on his t shirt. So, there he is, Bet Fred World. <laughs> <laughs> I had my t shirt on earlier, but obviously it was covered in grease. So, I went over and changed. Uh, this curry is so nice. Just look at this. Uh, Curry's good. Curry's very good. Look at this beef. Chicken's good. Look at that beef. Proper cuts of beef, that is really nice. Really nice. I've got an Italian beer, because Chinese beer's shit. Mm. And I've got no bottle opener. Chris, give me a lighter. How are you going to open it with a lighter? Ah, you see, you see, you see. That's what you do on the beach in Bali. He's done this before, obviously, <laughs> hasn't he? <laughs> now, I'm, these are salt and pepper. Uh, chicken bites. They're really nice. Mm. So how many people at home now are trying to, when, when this video goes out, how many people at home are trying to open bottles with lighters? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not brought a cup with really me. Nice. It's quite spicy, that, for a Chinese. Mm. Well, should I say quite peppery? Yeah, I'll go with that, because it's not it's that... Not, it's not chilli spice, it's no. peppery spice. That's a level of, of heat that I, I don't mind. 
You're gonna have to excuse but me. That, that's this is the way I like to eat curry. Stuff it into into a prawn cracker with the fried rice. That's the way to eat curry. Yeah. The Chinese one. Yep. You have to excuse me. I'm gonna have to drink out the bottle because I forgot to bring a cup again. It's just an animal, isn't it? Excuse me. You're drinking out of the bottle. Okay, I'll, I'll try to be uh, I'll try to be post right piece and I'll eat it uh, like that again. But what are these? Um, I don't know. What are these spring rolls like? I don't know. I've not tried one yet. I've ne never actually really been that overly keen on spring rolls. <laughs> now I know why they're a giveaway. Why? Wow. Because there's not in them. Oh, very little. The other viewers. Oh, we've got a pea in that one. Well, we didn't order them, so there were three. As you said, is it because they saw us with the camera? Could be, could be. But if you've been using that Chinese for 20 years, you want to be careful what you're saying because they might pee in your curry next time. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, the curry's nice. The curry's lovely. Mm. The curry is absolutely bang on. It tastes better than it looks, a lot better. Mm. Yeah, I can't I can't knock the, 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 the taste is really nice. It's not over heat, it's not over hot. There's a bit of spice there, but it's not too hot. So we've done the spring rolls. Mm. We've done the chips. Mm. We've done the chicken. Yeah. Let's go for one of your ribs. A dry rib. I don't know. Without the sauce, it's just a rib. Well, put a bit of sauce on it then. That's curry pellet. Well, I'm not going to comment on that much because I would have had sauce on that. So. That's a no-go. It must be bin. But, yeah, the style of the show is a curry for me. And the chicken bites, of course. Yeah, the curry, uh, I can't emphasise how, how nice this curry is. Have you ever had Chinese beer? No. I have. Not great. I think the last one I had was called Sunlick or something. Sunlick? Which sounds probably, it's probably Chinese, but Sunlight, I don't know. So I've had, I've had quite a few different Chinese in Black Bull. Um, and I've always used this one, I've always gone back to this one because this has always been consistent. It doesn't matter when you go, uh, it's always been the same quality of food. Right, okay. Chinese food, ain't my favourite. But it's, this is a good Chinese. Mm. I prefer the, uh, like the Thai and the Balinese, whether you're using fresh ingredients. I'm not saying this isn't fresh ingredients. What I'm saying is that they have masses of fresh ingredients. It's so obvious in, in the Thai and the uh, Balinese. Well, as Chinese goes, this is, this is good. Well, I prefer the Chinese to the, uh, to the Thai food. Yeah? Even though the Thai food is nice, uh, I still prefer Chinese food. Definitely what we're going to have to do next is uh, uh, Indian. Okay. I'll be honest, I've never really found a decent Indian in Blackpool. I don't really know how to do a decent Indian up north. I know a couple, but it's not right, is it? We need to, well, we're going to ask the viewers that one. Send us to an Indian in Blackpool. Yeah, okay, guys, yeah. No, absolutely right. Because, because I was from the Midlands, you know, this was a, this was a staple diet from the Midlands, Indian food. And I used to eat in Birmingham, in Sparkbrook in Birmingham, or 
in Dudley or Warsaw or places like that, where they get proper Indian food, where the Northerners don't really know how to cook Indian food. And so, if you see anywhere, or you know somewhere decent Indian, send us there, and we'll go and try it out. Weird though, isn't it? You wouldn't have prawn crackers with an Indian curry, would you? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I'll tell you a quick story, guys. Many, many years ago, yeah, I uh, I worked back in the mid nineties in America, and uh, we went for a night out. Oh yeah, lap dancer. Yeah, yeah. When I had a real job, I worked in uh, uh, South Carolina for a few months. Anyway, me and the lads all went out. Me oh, and the, Carolina. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, we all went out for a uh, uh, for a few beers. And then we ended up going to the Indian. It was me and all these American lads. And over there, it had like um, Texas curry and all Americanized. Yep. Yeah. And I was a bit pissed at the time. So I just said, oh, can I have a chicken tikka masala, a lamb boon, and all this. And then I started to say this is what I want. And these American guys were convinced that I could speak Indian. They were absolutely <laughs> convinced because I was saying it in the way we would say it here, you know. Uh, chicken tikka masala, a madras, a vindaloo, and I was using all the English words for it. They were apps and the uh, Indian guys, uh, which was quite strange to see an Indian guy for an American accent, but they understood exactly what I was saying. And these Americans were absolutely convinced that I could speak fluent Indian. Indian guys with American accent. Oh, belter. The strangest thing I've seen, I was in Glasgow. If you're going to say Chinese, I've done this. Oh yeah. I'm in a Chinese in Glasgow, and you see a Chinese guy in a chinky with a deep Glaswegian accent. Yeah. Oh my God! You know, they can have a uh, beef curry and fried rice, and you. Are you right, Jimmy? <laughs> you right, what? Real deep. Yeah. Oh, that's so strange. Mm. Well, I've polished that off already. That was so nice. That curry. You must have been hungry. Mm. I've not eaten all day. No, mind you, you didn't have rice, did you? No. How can you have a curry without rice? How can you have a curry without chips? You forced me to have a curry the other day without chips. I don't get it. You got chips. Did you get chips with that as well? Or did you just get one portion? One chip? portion. No, I thought you got chips and chips. Yeah. You got it, then. Them both salt pepper chips are nice. Yeah, it's but not as nice as a salt and pepper chicken. That uh that that guy who uh who's in that cafe of yours across the road, he does salt and pepper stuff, doesn't he? Yeah. It tastes very, very similar to this. We can see, guys, that's uh, that thing comes off, it's going to take yeah. our head off. I'm just going to piss the camera up for a second, yeah. Joe, it's actually quite windy up here now. Yeah, you're, you're in its flight path, Chris. Yeah. You could be mincemeat in a minute. So it is getting quite... Let me see if we can... No, oh, there it is, yeah. What are you looking for? I'll just show him the wind turbines to show how uh, windy it is. I don't want to lose my hat. Why have you got an a Union Jack hat? Because I'm a true Brit, I'm a royalist. You're a loony. Mm. I'm flying the flag for England. Compared to becoming embarrassed to be English lately, and I'm going to be really. Patriotic. What are you looking at? I'm looking at that door. It obviously opens outwards. It says oh, automatic door, keep clear. I wonder how many victims it's had. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they stand there waiting for it to open and it swings out and batters them. Batters them.
So, I'm just gonna eat. These are, these are really nice. Well, what score did we give the last two? I can't remember. I can't remember. No, no, wait. This is uh, so I don't like wasting food, but I'm a bit stuffed now. Oh, I see how you see how that actually polished mine off, loved it. Yeah, one more chicken bite, I'm done. Right, so we might as well, we might as well give the mark then. I'm going to be completely biased now, yeah. Right? Okay. I'm going to be completely biased and give this a 9.9. .9. Because I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's good value for money. Look at this array of food that we got for 15 quid each, so 30 quid for the two of us. It's really nice. So I'm going to give it a good solid 9.9 because .9, I thought it was absolutely spot on. What do you reckon? As far as Chinese goes, I'm not a lover of Chinese, to be fair. It's, it, it's, it's one of the better Chinese. It's, like Chris said, it's been there a long time. But just because it's Chinese, it's Chinese, Chinese, I don't know. 8.5, 8.5. Oh, eight. that's ridiculous of you. 8.5, just because it's just, it's just so basic Chinese food. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's basic. But you said honest, I'm honest. Mm, 8.5. Mm. I'd be shocked. Mm. I'd be shocked if I found a Chinese that I could give a 9, 9.5 to. I think that's to do with our, our different palates. Uh, so, so please put below yeah, what you think about it. If you've ever been to this Chinese, or if you're going to go to the Chinese, I know a few people have already said they've been to some of the. Uh, uh, I've been to the kebab place we've been to, haven't they? Is that what happens to the bloody birds with them, them windmills? What's that? Look on the bottom of that windmill. Oh, yeah. They must, they must fly into them and get... That's pretty cruel, isn't it? So they're pretty good for the environment, but they don't give a damn about the wildlife, is it? I believe that's it's problematic with the big wind things in there. Is it? With, with the, uh, the big... Uh, I mean, they've got, not got much chance, have they, to fly into them. So, we got a, a 8 point something from Pete. Boo. A 9.9 .9 for me, because I really do like Chinese. Why is it a boo? Boo. That's a good score for me, for Chinese. Okay, and as I said, don't forget, if you want us to go to an Indian next time, please say you want to, if you've been to it, what have you been to? I like Indians. I like Indians, so I like they it. better get that right. Yeah. I like Indian food, but I'm, I'm not convinced that there's a decent Indian in Blackpool. I've not managed to find one yet. I know one decent takeaway, but I'm not going to mention its name because it's not fair that we keep choosing them. So, name us a decent, name us a, a, what you think is a, a decent Indian, and we'll give it a whirl. Yeah. And what we're going to do next time is we're going to see if we can get delivered, aren't we? Yeah. Get delivered to the crap table. Yeah. We should give it. Is there an address on this? So what's the address? It's just called the Solaris Center, isn't it? Wonder if they deliver. I bet they think we're taking the mic, won't they? Yeah, because it's obviously not going to be. Open Can you deliver time. to the crap table at the Solaris Center? Yeah. It's worth a try, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Or we could always go in there. No, I've got the idea. If you say if you offer to pay by card on the phone, yeah, they'll they'll, they'll try and deliver it because they don't know it's not a, yeah it's not a scam. Oh, was that was that we'll pay for it? Yeah. Come back and then they deliver it to us. Do that, but then 
sort of like defeats the object. Well, yeah. it. well it depends where the. Uh... I just want to know if it actually delivered to it. Yeah. We could say we're staff at the Solaris. You could say we're working, but wouldn't the cleaners? Yes, you are, yeah. Well, I don't know. We should just say who we are. They're to know who we are. Yeah, because we're famous. We're famous, yeah. We'll just say, we're the crap boys, and we're doing a food review. Please deliver to the crap table, and they'll know exactly who we are. I was wondering what's different. If, uh, well, what's different tonight, viewers, from the other reviews? I don't know if it's going to work, but we've sort of like pointed the camera in the opposite direction, hopefully, so we won't get the wind as much. Because he rushed me, and I forgot my wind sheets. I want a big gill flower, play. Okay, viewers. If you like this video, I'm going to carry on eating these spare ribs because they are so nice. I'm going to carry on eating these empty pancake rolls. Empty pancake roll. No, no. I think it's just vegetable in there, isn't it? What do you think, Liz? What's in there? Is, it, is that like a Chinese version of a samosa? I don't know what's in it. I thought proper pancake rolls had to have a. Uh, Bamboo in the ball, something like that. It's pretty. Can't moan, they give us a. But. Yeah. I've never really liked pancake rolls. They're very blunt, they're blunt, they're, they're very blur. There's no real taste to them. Yeah. yeah, I've never really liked pancake rolls. Okay, guys, we better wrap this up now before the uh, the wind takes it off completely. I'm speaking with his mouth full. I know. I'm so, so common, aren't I? Onions. Look, eyes are bigger than his belly, look. Not at the ribs. I'll take him over after the breakfast tomorrow. Right, don't forget, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And Pete's about to say something quite witty because he's having That's a That's quite nice. I, I, I've never tried that before. Beer and Moretti. Nothing to do with Chinese. But uh, maybe the bottles are made in China. But anyway, uh, yeah, really nice. Really nice. Alcohol 4.6. Yeah. First time I've tried that, viewers. Won't oh, be the last. I'm lucky that. So. Is that it? That's it. Okay. See you later, guys. Goodbye for me. Goodbye for me. Catch you later. See you later. Yep. The, the weather's let me down. That hat should have gone by now. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's super glued it to his head, viewers. Catch you later. And if you want to know where the Solaris Center is, dead opposite the mirror ball. Dead opposite the mirror ball. South Promenade. There you go. Incidentally, there's a, at the back of here, there's a cafe with a cracking area for dogs, uh, dog walkers. Big green grass, let your dogs run. So, and it's a doggy friendly cafe, I believe, as well. So, there so you go, viewers. We've cracked this joke before, but if you want to go dogging in Blackpool, this is the place to come. Yeah, if you want to go dogging, <laughs> get yourself at the back. Catch you later. He lost his hat then for a minute, viewers. He lost his hat. I've got it, viewers. I've got it. Oh, he's getting a bit windy out here now. There you go, he's got his fag, Cardiac Central. <laughs> oh dear.